In this tutorial, we'll be discussing Model OM systems. Let's begin with a quick introduction followed by some examples. If m is an integer greater than 1, then a Model OM system consists of the numbers 0 all the way to m minus 1. Counting and arithmetic operations are performed in a matter corresponding to the movements on an m hour clock. The number m is called the modulus of the system. Now if that's confusing to you, let's take a look at a generic example. Let's say we wanted to count to 53 using a modulus of 12. So in this case, m is equal to 12. Let's use a 12 hour clock starting at zero. And remember the last number will be m minus one. So 12 minus one being 11. The last number on the clock will be 11. Starting from zero, we have a clock that looks like this. So to count to 53 in this 12 hour clock, we can express the number 53 as the number A. And it occupies the same position as five on a 12 hour clock more precisely. The way we found the number five is because 12 fits into 53 four times. And at the fourth revolution, we have 48. It begins again after 48. So this is 49, 50, 51, 52, 53. So in this case, we say that A is congruent to B in the modulo M system, written as A with these triple bars. Notice also that if I were to subtract five from 53, the difference of 48 is divisible by M, the value 12, which is an indication that 53 and five are congruent. If that was confusing to you, let's take a look at some more examples and hopefully you can understand this. In this question, we're being asked, determine which statements are true. For question A, we have to determine whether 39 is congruent with 15 using a M value of 12. So what I will do is subtract 39 and 15. The difference of 39 minus 15 is 24. 24 divides into 12. It divides into 12 twice. Now because it's divisible by 12, then this statement is true. Another way you could have figured this out is you could have found out the remainder of each of these. For example, 12 fits into 39 three times with a remainder of three. 15 fits into 12 once, also with a remainder of three. Because the remainders are the same, it's another reason for us to say that it's true. For question B, 33 congruent with 19. Let's find out if that's true. Subtracting 19 from 33 gives us 14. 14 does not divide into eight. So this is false. For question C, is 25 congruent with 48? Well, I'll take 48 minus 25. That should give us 23. 23 does not divide into seven. So this is also false. Are these two congruent? We have 11 and 35. 35 minus 11 gives us 24. 24 divided by six, we end up with four. Now because six is divisible, then we will say that it is true. Let's move on to the next exercise. This time we will learn how to add, subtract, and multiply in the modulo M system. The steps are shown on your screen. We first have to perform the operation as usual, and then replace the result in one by one of the numbers between zero and M minus one that is congruent to the result in part one. So in question two, we have to find seven plus four using a modulus of eight. Seven plus four is 11. The number eight fits into 11 once with a remainder of three. Therefore, the solution to question A is seven plus four is congruent to three. And don't forget to write down mod eight next to it. What about two minus five? And the modulus is 12. 2 minus 5 is negative 3. Remember, when the modulus is 12, the maximum number is 11. So counting from 0 backwards, we get 11, 10, 9. Now, because 9 is within the values between 0 and 11, all we have to do is write down 2 minus 5 is congruent with 9 in the mod 
12 system. Notice that we couldn't make 7 plus 4 congruent with 11 because 11 exceeded 8 in the previous example. Finally, in question 3, we have to solve 4 plus x is congruent with 2. So in the modulus 5 system, we have numbers between 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. We have to plug in each of these values into this formula to see which one will give us a congruent value. So if I write down 4 plus 0, that's equal to 4. It is not congruent to 2, so that's false. Our next x value is 1, so I'll write down 4 plus 1 is congruent to 2. Is this true or false? Well, 4 plus 1 is 5. 5 fits into 5 once with no remainder, so this is not true. It should be 0. How about 4 plus 2? 4 plus 2 is 6. 5 fits into 6 once with a remainder of 1. So this statement is false. 4 plus 3, 4 plus 3 is 7. 5 fits into 7 once with a remainder of 2. So this is true. And the other one, by deduction, should be false as well. And so there you have it. Hopefully this video helped you and opened your eyes to the modular M system. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and we'll gladly assist you. Talk to you later.